if this happens to you, if this happens to your website, the first thing you definitely want to have. Don't you hate it when your website gets hacked? I mean, for me, just a couple of days ago, my extremely profitable marketing agency website was hacked. I saw my rankings drop to the bottom of Google search engines. I was scared. I couldn't go to sleep that night. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you how I figured it out. Not only figured it out, I fixed when my site got hacked within just a couple of days. And I'm gonna share with you my minimum viable security system that you can set up for yourself. So in case something like this happens, you are prepared and you know how to jump back in position in Google search. But not only that, if you have any customers right now or you're about to get some customers for doing things like SEO or any type of ongoing marketing or building websites, I'm gonna share with you how you can get paid 300 bucks, not a lot of money, you're not gonna get rich, but you can get paid $300 to install and set up my minimum viable security system. I actually was able to set one up just yesterday and got paid after my site got hacked because I got this idea and I needed to share it with my customers. So smash that like button if you think that is a great topic. If you wanna secure your website and secure your customer's website and get paid in the process. But also if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, before we watch this video, you should subscribe to this channel because I put out great, awesome content on how to build your business from your laptop and get more customers through digital marketing and other local marketing services. So with that, let's get into the video. Okay, so let me first start off by saying when my site got hacked, I figured it out at like nine, 10 o'clock at night, a couple days ago, I was alerted by my keyword rank tracking software tool, which I'm gonna talk to you about in a second, but it was bedtime, right? And I looked at my ranking and it had tanked. And for me being an SEO enthusiast, like that got my gears spinning. It basically took everything for me to not stop my evening routine, not go to bed and go onto my computer, my laptop at home and start figuring out what happened, right? I almost couldn't go to sleep. I'm lucky that I got some rest. Anyway, <laughs> it almost, it took everything for me not to do that because I have you know, that mindset that probably most of you are watching this video have that entrepreneurial mindset. But anyway, so let's go over this, okay? Let me jump over to my screen. So we are going to talk a bit about how my site got hacked and then how I fixed my site and then I'm gonna give you my minimum viable security system recommendation, my MVSS. We'll also talk about how you can make some money with that. So anyway, two days ago, I'm doing my own thing. My site got hacked, right? So how I found out was I have a rank tracking software set up. So every day I get an email at the end of the day that tells me what my keyword rankings are doing. So you can see in this email, this is an email, these are all the terms that I'm ranking for, right? Pretty good ranking. You can see that Hawaii SEO went from its earlier position, which was number one, it dropped all the way to 27 and the change was 26 places, right? That's massive. So for me, that was a huge like red flag right there that something was going on because I'm usually all in the green, right? Hawaii SEO, Maui, all these terms, they're usually in the green, number one. When that hit me at, uh, let's see, eight o'clock PM a couple days ago, I was like, oh crap. And I went and looked and verified that it wasn't there. So what happened, right? Like if this happens to you, if this happens to your website, the first thing you definitely want to have a rank tracking tool set up so you can get notified if you're losing your rankings, because if somebody hacks you, there are a lot of different hacks out there. But for me, I found out this hack was what's called URL injection. And basically the hacker found a way to get into my website through an out of date plugin or a theme file or a WordPress. That's why it's so important to update all of your files in WordPress but they found a way in through there and then they installed some malicious code on my website and then caused a bunch of spammy pages to happen. And I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about, but that basically started to confuse Google and tell them that my site was no longer about those terms that I was ranking for before. Instead, they're about terms that are, well, have a look. So my rankings tanked and I'm like, well, what could it be? What happened? For me, I know that there's a thing called a search operator. My brother who's in the uh, cybersecurity industry calls this a Google dork, but it's basically you go to Google and you type in site colon and then your URL. Basically Google's gonna go out and tell you every single page that it has indexed for that site. If you do this, and I'm doing it right now, you can see that my site has these pages 
that have all of these, I don't know if this is Japanese or Chinese characters, right? These are all those hacked pages that were set up on my site, which tells Google that, you know, I'm not relevant for SEO. I'm relevant for a RFID secure something, a Fender Rode Telecaster, which I think is a guitar. So I've already fixed my site, but Google takes a while to scrape and crawl your site and then re-index it. So, you know, I'm shooting this video pretty quickly, right? I've had a quick recovery time. So you can still see it. You can still see this is what it looks like to be hacked with URL injection. And oftentimes you'll see things like different medication, prescription pills, stupid stuff, right? Porn, stuff that doesn't even make any sense for your site. And that's how your rankings get tanked. So I saw this, I noticed this, doing the search operation I do search operators all the time because in the same way when I'm trying to figure out which pages are being ranked for my website or my client's website, I do this to see if my site is actually getting indexed, right? So you can use this tool, you know, site search operators to uh, figure out what Google is actually seeing pretty quickly. Now, I didn't see anything in my Google Webmaster tools, right? Google Webmaster Tools, for those of you that don't know, is Google's way of looking and showing you the developer side of your website, what they are seeing for your website. Normally, you would be able to see like a manual action or a penalty right here, security and manual actions if your site was being uh, penalized for some reason, but I didn't see any malicious things here. But what I did notice when I went to the URL inspection side and I pulled up my site, I noticed that when Google was crawling my site, they were pulling up those characters that were not my site. And uh, you can do that by going to this page and inspecting any URL you want. I did this, I can't show it to you now because it's gone, but uh, I was seeing some of this, this stuff, which led me to believe that that's what Google was seeing as well. So I knew that my files on my site were compromised somehow, right? And in my mind, I have some things that are set up to save me from that just in case. So what I have set up is number one, I have regularly scheduled backups set up. The way that my backups are set up is I have backup every day, and then I have an extra backup every week, and then one backup every month. And if you don't have a hosting account where you can back up your, your website that much, you could also just do every week and every month. Every day might be a little excessive, but you know, my website, since it's ranking for a lot of these terms and it's very profitable, it's a high value type site for people to hack. Now, I don't think that somebody maliciously saw me, targeted me, and they said, I'm gonna go hack Nick's website. What I think happened after looking at the error logs of my site is that there was an out of date plugin that needed to be updated and they found a vulnerability in and they, they hacked my site. And bots are basically doing this, right? Once they find a vulnerability in a plugin, they create a script and it just goes out and finds all the websites that have that plugin installed at that version and they try to break in to everybody with what we call like a brute force attack. So basically I was able to revert a week ago I was lucky to catch it, right? And then look at all of the plugins that I had set up. And what I found was WordPress was out of date. WordPress came out with an update and it was out of date. So I updated all the plugins. I updated WordPress, I updated everything, changed all my passwords, right? You need to do that when you get hacked, you change all your passwords. For the most part, I've been monitoring my site. And because I was able to revert, I went back to my webmaster tools and then I recrawled the site, right? I entered my URL and then I hit test live URL. And then I hit this section here, request indexing, which is where they start to recrawl your site and put it back in the search engines with whatever information they crawl. Just a few days later, September 17th, the original issue happened just a couple days before that, two days before that. And so we're right back up again. And Hawaii SEO wasn't the only one that was tan like the rankings dropped. It was Maui SEO as well. But you can see that we're we're all the way back up. In fact, we have one in two places. So, you know, what I want to share with you now is what you should have set up on your site, because another thing that I didn't have live on my site for whatever reason i disabled it which was a fault of my own i did not have my security plugin installed on my site as well which is called wordfence right so you should have wordfence because it's free protects your website your wordpress website so you want to have that set up and now i'm going to share with you my my minimum viable security system this is something that you all should have 
right? You should have all this set up. You should have WordFence set up, which is totally free. You can, of course, for bonus points, upgrade to the premium version where you get an extra layer of security. You have a firewall set up. I have that set up now. Ain't nobody getting in here. And then you want to have your regular backups of your site and your snapshots of your site. Backups and snapshots, they're the same thing. Snapshots are server images of your host. So if you have a GoDaddy plan, you probably have no idea what the hell I'm talking about with a snapshot or a server image. But if you're doing something, you have a little more higher advanced of a hosting account, you know what a snapshot is if you're using something like DigitalOcean. Now you want to regularly update all of your themes and plugins. And a lot of people have issues with this because they're using crappy themes. Don't use those crappy themes and plugins because, you know, oftentimes you have all these plugins and themes set up. And if you update one of them, it breaks your site. So you don't update them, which causes you to have vulnerabilities all the time in your website. So for us, we build custom themes, right? My website is a custom theme. It doesn't rely on any third party plugins. You know, I have a couple like WordFence that maintains the security, but it's not built with any of these third party plugins. And if you're a member of Offline Sharks, which is my online internet marketing coaching company where I teach people how to do digital marketing just like this, like how I built my business, how I make money through digital marketing. You can always check that information out at offlinesharks.com. We have custom themes that we build that you can always keep up to date. And then we also use those themes and sell them to businesses for a fee. And we're able to keep them up to date and secure them really well. Anyway, you want to regularly update all of your plugins and themes. You want to remove any unneeded plugins and themes. So if you decide you don't need a plugin, remove it because it doesn't need to be there. And that could potentially be just another vulnerability for you. And then of course you want to have a rank tracker set up, which monitors your keyword ranking in Google. And there's a free one out there. It's called SERP robot, which is a good one. If you want to upgrade it to another level where you can monitor more and more rankings, there's a free plan, which is plenty for yourself. But once you get a lot of clients, you can upgrade. It's not that expensive at all. It's like five, 10 bucks. Or if you want to go another level, you can uh, go to Project Supremacy, which is a more advanced rank tracking plugin, but it does more than that. It's also it helps you to optimize your website for search engine optimization. And you can always check them out at projectsupremacy.com. Todd and Herc are actually good friends of mine. They built the software and I love it. It's a great tool. So you want to have your rank tracker set up. That's like having a security system outside of your home, right? Like your camera surveillance system. If somebody wants to come in, they're just going to cover their face or walk right past. But most people, if they see cameras, they're not going to come in. That's your first line of defense. And that's what I feel like my rank tracker is whenever something like this happens. That's how I know immediately something bad is happening. My rankings fall, but also I'm monitoring my rankings because I'm actively trying to improve them. Now let's talk about making money with this. How can you make money with this? So you can reach out to business owners. And if you already have some customers, then you can reach out to your existing customers and tell them, you know, Hey, there have been some recent hacks going around, you know, we want to secure your website. We need to set up a firewall, regular backups, just a stricter line of security. And you can do all these things right here, right? Set up rank tracking, set up word fence, backups, all that stuff. And you can charge a fee for it. You basically can charge a fee. And I charged 300 bucks for this customer. If I were you, I'd, I'd charge anywhere from 300 bucks. You can charge less, you can charge more. It's not really a requirement. And here we go. So here's my screenshot where I told my customer, I said, hey, we've noticed a lot of hacks happening with the new version of WordPress. A little context, my own website got hacked the other day. I noticed some rankings were falling, but we did able to fix that. Having said that, and knowing new threats are going around, do you have security measures you want to implement? So I asked him if he wanted to do it himself. And then I said, if not, we can implement a security package. It's pretty inexpensive, inexpensive, 300 bucks. There would be a hard cost of your host with your backups. I figure he might as well use his own host to back it up. And then we'd set up a firewall, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Long story short, he said, yes, we already got the invoice paid. We're working on setting this up, but it's an easy way that you can make some money. But also if you're doing something like search engine optimization for somebody and you don't have backups set up for them and their site gets hacked, they're going to come back to you because your rankings are going to tank, right? And they're paying you to fix their rankings, rank them higher in Google. And if their rankings tank, even though it's not related to something you're doing, they're going to look at you to blame. So it's in your best interest to make sure your customers websites are secure. If you're doing any type of ongoing marketing services, if you are in doubt at all, your best bet would be to sell them 
on a security package of some sort. I'm not saying this is making your website completely 100% secure, but this is a great place to start. If anything happens, you can always revert to when the site wasn't hacked, right? But your best bet is to sell them on a security package so you can make a little money and not have to work for free. And then you're safe, you have some insurance. And then you can, of course, you know, continue to rank and work for them. If something happens, you know what to do to fix it. You can back up, like I said, and then it's not gonna fall back on you, right? So with SEO, this type of thing, I mean, it's just a piece of mind. So you wanna go out to all your existing clients and make sure that they have a minimum viable security system set up. And if they don't, you wanna get paid to set one up for them. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Let me know if you like this video. Smash the like button, I really appreciate it. It really helps me to push my content out there to other people that are looking to build and grow their businesses in this way. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to it. Let me know in the comments below that you subscribe so I can welcome you to the channel. I do my best to welcome every single person to this channel. And uh, with that, you guys, I will see you in the next video. Work hard and stay humble.